Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mehit Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on assignment model when they give us prohibited assignments. Okay, this is our problem sum number 9 in our video series based on assignment model topic. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to solve minimization sum when they have given us some prohibited assignment in the question. So, let us see how to solve this particular sum. Okay, now let us see how to solve this particular sum. Uh, the question reads out as 4 clerks are assigned to 4, four tasks, so it is a balance problem. Find an assignment of task to clerk so as to minimize the total. Okay, it's a minimization sum. So, it looks like normal sum, but if you look carefully, in the task, there is one value which has nil. So, there is one you know prohibited value is called prohibited I mean there is no value allotted to a particular you know uh, a, a box so that is called a prohibited sum now let us see how to solve sums when there is a prohibited value given in it okay it is just like a normal sum so with the very simple funda in order to solve such sum is just ignore that value think that that value is not available and we just need to solve the sum in the normal manner now since it is a minimization sum our step number one will be we need to find row minimization so our row minimization ke liye, we'll have to first you know make the similar structure of our table 1 2 3 4 and here we'll have a b c and d now row minimization means from each row take the lowest value and minus with all other subsequent values so 17 minus 13 is 4 15 minus 13 is 2 2 0 in the second row now don't consider this at all just ignore this thing so the lowest value is 16 so it will become 19 minus 16 is 3 this is not available so just ignore it 20 minus 16 is 4 and 0 third the lowest value is 9 so it will become 2 4 uh, 12 and 0 then we have to, you know the next one is the lowest value is 12 so it will become 1 3 2 and 0 once we are done with row minimization our next step will be normal okay it's just a normal kind of sum so it will become column minimization again we'll have to create a similar table so that will become 1 2 3 4 a b c and d so in column wise the lowest value from each column so here 0 is the lowest so the value remains as it is we'll have 4 2 2 0 in the second also 0 is present so it will become sorry it is row wise one my, 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 my. It, it, since it is a row wise this is a column minimization so in column minimization we'll have to go column wise so in the first column the lowest value is 1 so it will be 1 minus all other values so it will become 3 okay 3 minus 1 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 and then 0 1 minus 1 is 0 okay in the next the lowest again the prohibited value just ignore it so the lowest is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 dash 4 minus 2 is 2 and 1 in the next the lowest value is 0 is 2 so 2 becomes 0 we'll have 2 10 and 0 and in the last one we have all zeros so we'll just note down that as zeros okay so that was column y which mistake uh, made a mistake in that so once we are done with the column minimization our next step is you know assigning the values row wise we'll select those rows which has only first one zero and then we'll start marking it out in the first row there are three zeros cannot mark it we go to the next row in the next row there's only one we mark that particular row all other subsequent zeros will get crossed out in the third there is no in fourth again there are two so cannot do anything we go now column wise in the first column there is one zero we mark that all other zeros get cut out in the second there is one zero so we mark that all other zeros get crossed out. so all the zeros has been used out so our next step will be we'll check the assigned values the number of assigned values are one two three okay the number of assigned value is three and the matrix size is equal to 4 therefore the solution is not optimal we need to optimize it solution is not optimal and if the solution is not optimal we will have to create a modified matrix 
okay modified matrix meaning a similar table which has the similar rows and columns okay now in order to make the modified matrix okay the values we will have to first okay now in order to fill up the modified matrix remember we'll have to go to a column minimization the one which was not optimally you know got the solution on select that row which does not have any assigned zero so we can see that the c1 doesn't have any assigned zero so that particular uh, row may say wherever you can see the zero okay tick that and from there we'll have to create uh, you know we'll have to cross out the lines okay in the subsequent column so this one is done afterwards check all those rows which have multiple zeros the first row has multiple zeros so cross that and the last row also has multiple zeros so even cross that particular line once you are done with that once you are done with that okay now once you are done with that now remember how to get the modified matrix the values which have been unmarked from that we'll have to select the lowest value so here one is the lowest value that one will get subtracted from all other unmarked values okay so first we'll fill up that so 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus 1 1 and 10 minus 1 is 9 next wherever the lines have intersected that particular value will get added by our lowest unmarked value so it will become 0 plus 1 is 1 again 0 plus 1 is 1 rest all the values will remain as it is so it will be 3 0 0 0 0 0 1 and 0 so this is how we have created our you know modified matrix once that modified matrix is ready again we'll start with our assigning process in the first row there are two zeros cannot be assigned in second row there's only one zero so we'll assign that all other subsequent zeros will get crossed out in the third row there's only one zero we will cross we will assign it rest all the zeros will get cut off in the fourth row there is one zero we will mark it all other value get cut out now column wise first column doesn't have zero second has only one so we will assign it third doesn't have and fourth doesn't have once i do with that we will start with the assigned values the number of assigned values are one two three four and the matrix size when we'll check it is also four therefore we can say that the solution is optimal and once our solution is optimal we can write a final answer stating that therefore the optimal assignment is Okay, for clerk A, it has been get to give the task 2, the value for which is 15. For clerk B, it is said to give him task 4, which is 16. For C, it has been said to give him the first, which is 11. And for D, it is said to give him 14, which is third, which is 14. When you add up, 15 plus 16 plus 11 plus 14 we will get 56 it is a minimization sum okay there we want to minimize the total time therefore the total minimum time is equal to 56 now since nothing is mentioned we'll take that as hours it is 56 hours okay so this is how we need to solve the sum whenever they have given you a prohibited value so it's just like a normal sum just ignore that particular value in every aspect of your table and the entire sum can be solved in the most normal manner okay so this is how you all had to solve sum based on prohibition again okay? this was a minimization sum similar to prohibition okay Chalo. with that we will be ending this video here i hope everyone have understood thank you